in this place. Let your healing come. Let your healing come in this place. I prophesize it for you. Can you lift up your hands? In this place. Worship your maker, your creator, your savior, your redeemer. Our shield, our fortress, our buckler, our refuge, our strong tower, <laughs> the unchangeable changer, the one that ruled in the affairs of men, the miracle working God, the ocean divider, Yima <laughs> Labas the one that brought water out of the rock. At his presence, mountains melt, exalting this morning, exalting this morning. Yakala ba 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 ba. Yeah, basuta baleka ka ba 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 ba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Ba ba fa ba ra ra ha. Ba ba fa ba ra ra ha. Allah ba ra ki ga 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 ki ga. Papa Fagbara Papa Fagbara Jackie Gogo Abaye Le Mandatou Ibe Jesu Nikola Ba Lori Aye Gogo Papa Fagbara You are 
are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Onishia na tonshisha yano. You are worthy. I say you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Onishia na tonshisha yano. You are worthy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know who this fellow is. My daddy's in the house. I don't know who this fellow is. The Lord said I should tell you, you have cried enough. I will wipe away your tears. I don't know who this fellow is. He says, you have been going about, they've been rejecting you. He said, from this day, your rejection seeks. I don't know who that fellow is. There's somebody here, the Lord said, right now, you have nothing doing. He said, I am going to open multiple doors unto you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know who this fellow is. The Lord says, all those that have gathered to want to truncate your destiny, you are going to reign over them. Thank you, Jesus. Can you wait those saints to heaven? Can you wait those saints to heaven? Can you bless his holy name? Can you appreciate it? Thank you, mighty Father. Glory, honor, and adoration to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Lift all those saints to heaven and take just only one prayer point. Like I told those in the first service, there were a lot of people on the street of Jericho. But Bartimaeus proved that he's the one in need of miracle. And so his voice was louder than everybody. And he received divine attention. As you lift up your voice right now, may the Lord grant you divine attention. Lift up your voice like that and say, Father! Say, Father! Have mercy on me. I need a miracle. Can you go ahead and cry to the Almighty God? Can you cry like Bartimaeus? Can you tell God you need a miracle? You should have mercy. Ah, my limo, Sapada, Bale, Mashentele. Zale, break it, gaga, 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 gaga. Pandale, Gazuta, Bale, Pakuta, Gazanda. Raplon da kaka panda la bote gazanda li o te geze kalibra to gazanta li baba jibo zapo ekete gazuta liya and so shall it be in Jesus name by the mercy of God whatever your heart desire here today God will grant them all. By the mercy of God, whatever your expectation this morning, God will surpass your expectation. By the mercy of God, let God hear your cry in that about Jesus and answer you in that about Jesus. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Put those things together for the Almighty God and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And let's please be seated in this presence. Our time is fast spent. I want to remind us that tomorrow is the last anointing service for the month. If the sound engineer is in the house, let him reduce the instrumentalist sound. is damn too loud. The instrumentalist, their sound is damn too loud. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow we are going to be talking about God in you. What did I say? Don't forget we'll be talking about I am with you. I want to encourage you if you can, please don't miss tomorrow morning. And I believe God will hear us in Jesus' name. And also Friday will be our Holy Ghost service. 
you can be at the redemption camp to be on ground and you can connect through the social medias and you'll be online or you watch through Dove Media. Anyone you choose to, you can be rest assured that God will touch you. What is happening on Sunday? I say, what is happening on Sunday? Sunday is our Thanksgiving and our theme for the month of July is all round rest. All round rest. We test from Joshua 21 verse 44. You can read it. All I know is that God is giving us all round rest. The God that declared us in the seventh month that the children of Israel should observe a feast of rest. That God will grant you rest. And so Thursday is very crucial in Good Morning Holy Spirit as we'll be taking authority over the month of July, taking authority over the second half. Praise the Lord. By Wednesday, first half of this year will have been ended. And by Thursday, we are not just entering into July, but we are entering into second half of the year. Can I pray for only one person? Your second half will be far better than the first half. That's why I encourage you not to miss Thursday. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Praise ye the Lord. The presence of his power is our topic this morning. I am not here to preach. I am not here to teach. I have come this morning to pray. And so please bear with me. If you are not getting teaching, don't bother. We've done that since the beginning of the month till now. Having all manners of teaching on I am with you. This one we are talking about the presence of his power. Luke chapter 5 verse 17 to 25. But verse 17 is the key verse. He said, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and the power of the law was present to heal them and behold men brought in a bed a man which was taken with a parcel and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him and when they could not find by what way they could bring him in because of the multitude they went upon the house top and let him down through the tailing with his coach into the midst before Jesus and when he saw their faith he said unto him man thy sins are forgiven thee and the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason saying who is thee who speaketh blasphemy who can forgive sins but God alone but when Jesus perceived their thought he answering said unto them what reason ye in your hearts whether it's easier to say thy sin be forgiven thee or to say rise up and walk but that ye may know that the son of man had power upon earth to forgive sins he said unto the sick of the passy I say unto thee arise take up thy coach and go into thy house and immediately he rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his own house glorifying God praise the Lord I said praise the Lord the presence of his power beloved Jesus said in Matthew 28 verse 18 the Bible said and Jesus came and speak unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Divine presence comes with divine power. Wherever you can identify or locate divine presence, divine power is inevitable. And so the Bible says, because Jesus was present and was teaching, 
He said the power was available to heal. And because the power was available to heal, that draw doctors, Pharisees, multitude from Judea, from Jerusalem, from Galilee, all over. And you know what? At the news spread that there was divine presence. As the news spread that God was with them somewhere and his power was available to heal, he began to draw all manners of situations. He began to draw all manners of conditions. He began to draw all manners of problems. But the good news is that every problem brought receives solution. Can I pray for only one person? Whatever problem you brought here today, may he receive solution. Yeah. It will receive solution because the word of God cannot be broken. He said we are two or three are gathered. He's what? He's there in their midst. And so if he's there, then his power is also present. Can I pray for you, sir? You will receive his power today. Yeah. And that is why you discover that all throughout the scripture, wherever the Lord is present, in the book of John chapter 11, John chapter 11, you discover that the Bible tells us about Lazarus. Lazarus was friend to Jesus and he was sick. He took ill and his sisters, Mary and Martha, sent to Jesus, his friend, to come down and heal him. Praise the Lord. But Jesus could not come until almost four or five days. Praise the Lord. But by the time Jesus would get to the scene, Lazarus was already dead four days. Hello? Lazarus was already dead. How many days? Four days. Four days. And so when Jesus came, because when he's present, his power is present, he didn't bother about the allegation that Martha and Mary laid against him that if you had been here earlier, our brother wouldn't have died. Is that not the allegation? But little wonder do they know that the power that can heal can also bring back to life. The power that can heal can also deliver. The power that can heal can also save. This money, whatsoever that is dead in your life, power of God will bring them back to life. And so Jesus asked a simple question. Where did you lay him? Praise the Lord. And they took him to the tomb. And I read John 11 from verse 41 to 44. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his voice and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Don't forget, I just told you where his presence is. His power is what? Available. And I knew that thou heareth me always. But because of the people who stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sons. Lazarus, do what? Come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said to them, Losing and letting go. What are the lessons here this morning? Beloved, when his power is present, anything can happen, including your own breakthrough today, including your own miracle today, including your own healing today including your own deliverance today including your own promotion today including your own fruitfulness today if you are that fellow can help you hear your amen loud and clear for the bible says with God nothing shall be impossible he said behold 
I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Why? When his presence, his power is also present. Beloved, Martha and Mary knew that while he is around, his power is available. This morning, Jesus is in the house. You are not excited about it. I thought you will clap. I thought you will shout. I said, Jesus is in the house. I said, Jesus is in the house. Can somebody cry, Jesus? And so he came. Despite the allegation, he went straight to the toe and things began to happen. Some of which will happen here now. What are the things that happen? Number one, instantly, sorrow was turned to joy. Don't forget, everyone was already weeping, wailing, crying, to the extent that Jesus could not even resist weeping. That the Bible says, and Jesus did what? Wept. Don't forget that weeping can be contagious at times. Am I correct? If you go to the house where there are money and you see everybody wailing and crying, if you don't, if you don't take heart, before you know what will happen to you? It happened to Jesus. And the Bible says, and Jesus did what? Wept. But after he wept, by the power of his presence, he turned sorrow to joy. Can I pray for only one person? Whatever that has brought sorrow into your life, by the power of his presence, your sorrow shall turn to joy. Yeah. Only one person is saying amen. Yeah. Can you all please stand on your feet? Because you will not sorrow. Yeah. I told you I have not come to preach. I have come to pray. I hope you will pray with me. Please lift up your two hands. Listen to me, sir. Either you are already experiencing sorrow. All the enemy have planned ahead that you are going to sorrow. In that name that is above every other name, it shall be turned to joy. Yeah. Lift up your voice, Lord, and cry. Say, Father, say, Father, turn my sorrow to joy. For the remaining days of this year, let me not know sorrow. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Is somebody praying at all? Is somebody praying at all? But then you better cry to the Almighty God. For his power is in, is in the house. His power is available. By his power, he turns sorrow to joy. By his power, he turns sorrow to joy. By his power, he turns sorrow to joy. By Lika, Bale, Bale, Mama, Regede, Gazu, Taliani. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can I pray for you? Stretch out your hands to the altar. Brethren, I want you to believe this morning that every declaration that will proceed from this altar will perform wonder in your life. Stretch out your hands to the altar. Anyone under the influence of my voice that the enemy have planned ahead so that you will have reason to sorrow. By the power of the Mosa, you will never sorrow. And anywhere, anyone here right now that is already experiencing sorrow like garbage, let God turn your sorrow to joy. And for everyone under the influence of my voice, wherever my father will hear the Lord say, Amen, you enter into overflowing joy. I say, Enter into overflowing joy. Today, enter into overflowing joy. I say, Enter into overflowing joy. On that faithful day, that family enter into overflowing joy. The Bible says, there is season for everything. I decree. As you are about going to second half, you are entering into a season of joy. 
be seated. Number two, Jesus came. His power was present and he reversed the irreversible. On that faithful day, he did what? He reversed the irreversible. It is written that it is appointed unto man to die how many times? Once. After what? Judgment. But Jesus show for what his power can do. He reversed the irreversible. Lazarus that was dead for days came back to life. Why? His power was present. Can I pray for you, sir? As many that are here, that the enemy have written report concerning you. Report that are irreversible. I stand as the servant of the Most High God that God will revive irreversible in your life. <laughs> Listen to me, sir. I've shared the testimony here before. I don't have time. A couple was married and the, the husband was the only son of the, father, of the mother. Out of fear, that the son is married you're going to be having children and we no longer take care of her she decided to go and block the womb of the wife of the son and what she did the sham she did after she finished it she went to the river and threw it into the river why? River does not reverse itself. Once river flows, it goes forever. Meaning, no matter and how hard that woman tries, she will never have a child in her life. But our God, that has solution to every man's problem, why they began to run from pillar to post, this woman met a man of God, and the man of God said, woman, you are sophisticated, but God said, go and be selling fish. Go and be what? Selling fish. And not that you go and build a cold room and you are selling imported fish. You go to the riverside, buy fish like fish, fish, like, like fish sellers and come to market and sell. It took her several months and years to concur because she looked at her self as a career woman. How would I go and be selling fish? Until one day, the husband said, if God has said you should go and sell fish, I will resign and sell fish with you. Hello? The husband resigned and said, oh yeah, it is time. Let me begin to sell fish. So they started going to the riverside, buy fish, come back to sell. And one fateful day, they got to the riverside. Nobody brought fish. Except one fisherman and it was three pieces of fish. They bought the three pieces of fish and said, let's go home and eat this one. Today, no market. Hello? They got back home. Asked their maid to cut fish. As they were cutting fish, the maid saw in the fish a sharp, big, with red claw. She screamed. Fortunately, the mother-in-law was also in the house that faithful day. Everybody ran to the kitchen and they saw and the woman shouted this was what I did so that you will not have children the God that reverses the irreversible are you still sitting down are you still sitting down hear me as I hear God listen to me sir <laughs> anyone here today that they have done anything against you so that you will never be anything in life. God will revive the irreversible. Yeah. One of our pastors had abortion. While she was still in the war, they cut all her womb. Meaning she will never have a child again. And then she attended a program like this with her father in the law. And the word of God came that she will carry twins without whom God revived the irreversible. She was able to carry her twins. Lift up your two hands. Jesus 
because his power was present. He revered the irreversible. Brethren, if you can pray this morning, I can assure you, it doesn't matter where they have taken your name to. It doesn't matter what they have done against you. God will revive the irreversible. Say, Father. Say, Father. Revive every irreversible. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Karaba, ba, 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 ba. Are you praying at all? Whatever they have done against you, let God revive the irreversible. Let the Almighty God revive the irreversible. Let the Almighty God revive the irreversible. Now, 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 now. Concerning your situation, concerning your life. Ye Kali Bakasantalia. Karaba Baba Baba Baba. Are you praying at all? Que se tolobo, ye kata le braga santalia, baraga gaga, carababaka santalia. Thank you, mighty father. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Anyone under the influence of my voice that the doctor has said you will not carry your child for whatever reason, in that name that is above every other name, let God revive that irreversible. Every evil occurrences in your life that have become normal occurrences, I decree it is no more. I say it is no more. I say it is no more. Stop today in the name of Jesus. Little Joe says, number three, he got there. Death became life. Death became life. Every business is dead here today. Let life of God come. Every destiny dead, let the life of God come. Anything dead in your body, let the life of God come. Little those who went to heaven and said, Father, release life to whatsoever that is dead in my life. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Pali Bakas and Tali Baba. Zolobo said, Telebo. Zablande kapale machine tali raka kaka kaka 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 Thank you, my chief father. Hey, Jesus, my chief name. We are praying. My time is up. Look at me. We want to do something very quickly. But before then, I must tell you this. I find out there are many miracles in the Bible. But the people that got the best miracle, they have a relationship with Jesus. When the sisters of Lazarus sent to Jesus that Lazarus was sick. They said to him that his friend was sick. When Jesus too was coming, Jesus turned to the disciples and said to them, go and read it, that John chapter 11. He said, our friend Lazarus is sleeping. I am going to do all. Wake him up. Now, it is very easy to receive miracle if you are a friend to Jesus. A sinner is not a friend to Jesus for the Bible says the prayer of a sinner is an abomination to him. And that's why I say put aside all the weight all the weight that easily besets you. Brethren, there is nothing you are asking from God now that is hard for God to do. But the question is, are you his friend? That's what I was dead for four days. Came back to life. Why? He was friend to Jesus. All eyes closed. All heads bowed down. Do you know you two can become friend to him today? Do you know you can become friend of Jesus today? All you need to do is to ask for his mercy. All you need to do is to ask for his mercy and grace and he will have mercy on you. 
Even as I'm speaking, the rain of mercy is falling. If you are here, you want to be friend to him. You want to come closer to him. You want to say bye-bye to your sinful ways, to your sinful life. Can you lift up your right hand and I pray with you? So that he can perform a miracle in your life today. Because he's about to do something in the next few minutes. Is anybody like that? I will only count one to three. If at that count of three, you are not raising your hand, that means you don't want to be his friend and you don't need a miracle. One. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. If you are raising that hand, raise it above your head. Raise it above your head. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Ushers, can you please help me attend to them? Can you please help me attend to them? Please raise that hand above your head. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You want to be a friend to Jesus? It's a must. I can stand here today to talk to you because I have decided to be friend to Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. God bless you, my brother. I have decided. If you raise that hand, can you please come to the altar? Let me pray with you. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, please. Please, wherever you are, you want to come, please come. To follow Jesus. I say, no turning back. I say, no looking back. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above it, there is no one. You want to come? Please come. Please come. I say, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above it, there is no one. Jesus is the way. Precious Father. They have declared their friendship for you. They want to be friend to you, just like Lazarus. That he instantly give them a miracle. Miracle of salvation. That the rest of their life, they will never go back into the world. That Lord God Almighty, your mercy will flow over their life. That till you return to take your sin with you to your kingdom. This was, oh God, we surely be partakers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be thy name, here. For we pray in Jesus' name. Please just exercise patience one minute. Uh, uh, I want to do some prayer. After we, you follow my sister, immediately look at her. You follow her, immediately we finish praying. Then so far, can you please stand? Everybody please stand. I'm going to call out five cases, five different cases that God himself wants to solve the problem permanently. And so if you are among these five people, five cases, you just quickly take a step outside. Because after today, testimony must come. If you are here, you have nothing doing at all. And everywhere you have been going, the road has been blocked. Please come out. You have nothing to do presently. Either you have no business, you have no job. And as, as, as you are trying to get one, everywhere you go, the road is just blocked. Please come out. Please come out. Please come out. And if you are here this morning, and the business you are doing is like more or less dead. That business, you are just spending money, you are just trying your best. Nothing is happening. Please come out. That is the second case. The third case sorry, yes, the third case which are also called in the first as service is if you are here, you have been using drug every day for a particular ailment please come out you have been using drug every day for a particular ailment please come out, please come out, please come out please come out, you have been using drug for a particular ailment please come out, the fourth people the fourth session of people that I want to come out now as you come out, just lift up your two hands to heaven because God himself will set you free, God himself will deliver you if you are here this morning and you have been having this incessant nightmare that you have got it to the level you are afraid to sleep again because it's either one beast is pursuing you, some people are troubling you. Can you please come outside? Can you please come outside? And lastly, but not the least, this set of people are very critical to me and I want them to come with speed. If you are here, you know it, please come out. Please come out. Then if you are already out, lift up your two hands. Holy Spirit, 
Holy Spirit. Let all those sent to heaven. Kalima Kasanta Lebrande Kasanta Mama. Gracious Father, because your power is present here now, Lord, I start with the last case. As many, oh God, that have gone to the devil to compromise their destiny, Lord, by your power, right now, set them free in the name of Jesus. I declare your freedom today in the name of Jesus. Powers and forces that have been troubling you, they shall trouble you no more in the name of Jesus. I come against every demon of rejection. I cut them out of your life now in the name of Jesus. As many that have been going about without nothing, I decree, let door be open unto you now in the name of Jesus. I say, let door be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Let the oil of acceptance begin to flow from the crown of your head to the tips of your toe in the name of Jesus. Before the end of this week, God will give you your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I say, the Lord will give you your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. You will not suffer anymore. You will not suffer anymore. And hey, come to every nightmare in your life. Every evil effect of every negative dream by the blood, I nullify and I cancel in the about Jesus. Those that be troubling you, the Lord will trouble them. For it is written, henceforth, let no man trouble me. For I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus. Let the Lord defend you. Let the name of the Lord fight for you. Let God give you total victory in the name of Jesus. In the life of every one of you standing at this altar, before the end of this week, you will have your testimony. Lift all the hands now. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. If you are the one that have identified the case of this, your children, Lord, say to them now, permanently. That ailment that have been responsible for intake of drug on a daily basis be made whole now. Amen. Let the healing power flow through you. Amen. Your next doctor's report, it is over. Amen. I say it is over. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everybody stand, stretch out your hands to the altar. Whatever you are believing God for that brought you here, either your case is mentioned or not, I decree. Before sunset today, you will see the finger of God. You will see the power of God. You will see the glory of God. You will glorify the name of the Lord. Let God move on your behalf. Let the Lord move on your behalf. Let the Lord move on your behalf. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful amen like thunder. Amen. 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 God bless you. You can go back to your seat. My brothers at the front. Please follow that, my sister, with banner. Put those hands together for the Almighty God. Hallelujah. If you are putting your hands together for Jesus.